Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am T-Shirt Mama. Thanks for tuning in. I have not done a straight up cook with me in a while. I've done some meal preps and things like that, but I haven't done a straight up, this is a recipe, and we're gonna cook through all the way through together. I am finally going to jump on the bandwagon of this feta pasta, tomato pasta. So, I went to Whole Foods, if you haven't seen that uh, um, grocery haul, it was a little bit ago, but the feta I got, I wanted to try this with, and we just got around to it today. So I have some vegan feta, which you would just use regular feta if you're not vegan. Some tomatoes, there are a couple yucky spots on these, so I just need to do a little chopping. Some tomatoes and some pasta i am doing this chickpea pasta just so that there's some protein in this and i'm probably going to serve some broccoli on the side and then you just kind of season it however you want i've got some olive oil so that when the feta and the tomatoes are in the oven they don't stick and then i'm going to do oregano basil pepper and garlic I'm not going to do salt until the very end just because feta, normal feta, is very salty. I have never tried this one before, so we shall see. So first things first, I have on the stove some water boiling and I have my oven preheating. So that's happening and I am going to wash and chop off the couple yucky spots on these tomatoes. cherry tomatoes all washed up in my casserole dish then I'm going to get this feta opened this feels like a trick because it says open here but I don't feel like there's a tab or anything oh oh maybe there is okay I take it back I'm sorry no, no, I, 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 I agree, because this is just the label that I peeled off. So, I was correct. I need scissors. So, this one is a lot harder than... It smells spot on, though. It smells just like feta, but it's a lot harder. So, hopefully this will still work. Washing my hands. So like I said, we've got the tomatoes and the feta. I'm gonna drizzle it with some olive oil. Some black pepper. Some oregano. and some garlic and it looks like my pasta water is boiling so this will be perfect timing because this shouldn't take too long in the oven I did two heaping teaspoons, so it was probably like a tablespoon. And as you saw, I didn't measure the seasonings, I just did it until it felt right. And so at this point, this is just gonna get thrown in the oven 
the TikTok didn't say, or the one I saw didn't say how long to do it. So I'm just gonna put it in my oven at 400 for like 10 minutes and then check on it. You're just looking for all your tomatoes to be like burst. And then the liquid will come out of the tomatoes. You mix it all up with your pasta and that's supposed to be the sauce. So in the oven and I will tell you guys how long it actually took in there. is all cooked now so I'm going to strain it so pasta strainer and I'm just gonna put a little olive oil on that just so it doesn't stick and I'm still waiting on the feta and tomatoes so I'll keep you posted okay so I changed my plan a little bit at the beginning of this I realized I said I was going to do broccoli but I forgot that I had some leftover zucchini summer squash and mushrooms so I'm warming those up in the microwave and I'm pretty sure my sauce the feta and tomato is all done so I'm going to switch the next portion for the zucchini and then i'm going to show you guys the tomato and feta oh yeah that looks much better okay so cancel all off of my off Can you guys, no, not good enough of a view of this beauty. Look at how tasty that looks. Those tomatoes are all nice and blistered. I'm gonna use my spatula and just kinda break up the tomatoes a little bit more. Just so that like they're bursted all the way and I have no idea how this is going to taste but if it tastes even a quarter as good as it smells it's going to be delicious. I wish I had some more tomatoes than that package though but the feta is all nice and melted and made a nice sauce so time for my pasta. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Um. Apparently I didn't put enough oil. Alright. It wasn't sitting there too long, so I shouldn't be too stuck. Oh yeah. This looks so good. What the heck? Wow. Okay. Like I said, guys, I wish smell vision was a thing because if it tastes as good as this smells, this is going to be a regular rotation dinner. Because I'm going to have to learn how to make vegan feta because that one block was real expensive. All right. This looks delicious. I'm going to portion this up and show you guys the finished plate. All right, so guys, this is the finished product. All I did was scoop it on a plate. Nick doesn't really like zucchini and uh, summer squash, so I gave him mostly mushrooms. And he likes some spicy stuff, so I put some crushed red on his. And this, oh my God, I cannot wait to try this. And then I obviously love zucchini and summer squash. It looks so good. It's me. You ready for lunch? Yeah. 
Are you ready? Yes, I'm very much so ready. Okay, do you want to try a bite and tell people how it is? Yes, I'd love to. It's probably one billion degrees, so be careful. Probably. A little, little noodle action going on if it decides it wants to stand a fork. It doesn't. It does not. It does not. A little mushroom action. It's good. Is it good? Mm hmm. Hmm. All right, now I need to try. I'm scared it's so hot. It's so hot. That's so good. 10 out of 10, recommend. Definitely make this. That's so creamy. Creamy doesn't happen when you're a vegan, so that's right. real tasty. Wow, that's really good, guys. All right, well, thanks for cooking with me. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm going to go enjoy this lunch because it is very good, and I cannot wait to eat it. Bye.